I would like to present to you the main features of our Crestal Approach Sinus Kit. We will show you the three most important characteristics of the COS Kit system for a safe sinus membrane lifting. A conical bone lid is being formed and the direct contact with the membrane is being minimized. Bone chips are being formed in between the cutting blades. Due to the COS drill's unique design, a conical bone lid is being formed and the direct contact with the membrane is being minimized. Additionally, bone chips are being formed in between the cutting blades that are cranially shifted and elevate the membrane safely. I'll show you how to use the COS kit in case of the flat, incline, and septum sinus floor. By using the unique stopper system, a membrane perforation as well as excessive drill penetration can be prevented. Autogenic bone collection can be gained at low speed. COS kit provides the most convenient sinus surgery with maximum safety. I'll show you how to use the COS kit in case of the flat, or inclined sinus, as well as in case of a septum in the maxillary sinus. Surgical Procedure for COS Kit The bone density and quality are essential for choosing the right drill diameter for the surgical procedure with the COS kit. In the displayed case, the first left molar is missing and the remaining bone depth is 7 mm. The TS3 implant has to be chosen and inserted according to the bone density. At least three drilling steps are necessary for the safe sinus membrane lift. In the displayed case, the first left molar is missing and the remaining bone depth is 7 mm. A 2.0 twist drill is used with a 5 mm stopper to approach the membrane so that a 2 mm bone length remains for safety. The drilling hole is being enlarged with a 3.1 diameter drill and a 5 mm stopper. The recommended speed is between 400 rpm and 800 rpm. The drilling hole is being enlarged with a 3.6 diameter cast drill and a 5 mm stopper. Afterwards, the drilling hole is being extended and deepened by using the other cast drills and stoppers until the sinus floor is reached. In the displayed case, the last step is to use the 7 mm stopper, whereas the conical bone lid elevates the membrane of the sinus floor. Due to the cost drill's unique design, a conical bone lid is being formed and the direct contact with the membrane is being minimized. By using the depth gauge with the 7 mm stopper, the mobility of the membrane is being tested. Saline solution is being filled into a 3cc syringe to slowly make the hydraulic lift of the membrane. The hydraulic lifter has to fully cover the drilling hole in order to have the needed pressure for lifting the membrane. The bone graft material is being filled into the sinus with the bone carrier. A 7 mm stopper is being connected to the bone condenser and the bone graft material is being pushed further into the sinus. The procedure has to be repeated until the cavity in the sinus is filled up. 
bone condenser and the bone graft material is being pushed further into the sinus. The procedure has to be repeated until the cavity in the sinus is filled up. Bone condenser and the bone graft material is being pushed further into the sinus. The bone graft material is being spread in the cavity by using the bone spreader with the 7 mm stopper and at 50 RPM maximum. The procedure has to be repeated until the cavity in the sinus is filled up. Bone condenser and the bone graft material is being pushed further into the sinus. Afterwards, the fixture can be inserted.